ready for a debut? Yeah. Mm. A first mm. comedian tonight who's never performed. Show him a lot of love, a lot of support. Mr. Chris Coleman, everybody! Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Just a second, I gotta check something. He said he had them balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I had them somewhere. It's hot. Okay, well, I'm a composer here. I teach music over at Hong Kong Baptist University. I've been here for um, 17 years. Believe it. Yeah. My, uh, my family, we lived in Chicago before I came over here, and I have a, a, I have a son, yeah. But when we lived in Chicago, I have a son. Now I have a son like this, you know? And uh, <laughs> we, we were going to play group in Chicago. I would take him to, I was the stay home dad, you know, and working on a doctorate. You can't have a job. It is a job. I appreciate women now a lot more than I did before, but taking the kid to the play group, and we were going to move to Hong Kong, and, and I thought he ought to know that this would be a different place, that it wouldn't be like the people that he knew before. Now, we didn't know any Chinese people in, in Chicago, believe it or not, but he did have a little Japanese friend, and I said to him, Sean, you know, all the people in Hong Kong, they're going to look like Jimmy. <laughs> you know? And he sees, Really? Okay, okay. So we move, we move over here. We're standing in line at immigration, you know, and I think he's got it, he's got it. But I feel this little tug on my pants. Dad, Dad. Yes, Sean? What? There sure are a lot of Chinese people in Hong Kong. <laughs> So now, every time I get on the MTR and you see the crowds coming at you, there sure are a lot of Chinese people in Hong Kong. <laughs> well, I um, I teach at Baptist University. I said, said been there for 17 years. You know, it really is uh, a bit of a culture shock to come from America to a place like here. You're talking about different words for things. I was here. I was dressed up. This was this was tough for me. You know, I mean. I've used conditioner for quite a long time. <laughs> Had on the suit and the tie, for God's sakes, you know, and I'm nervous as my first job, and I'm meeting these guys. There is uh, one of my colleagues, and I'm standing there talking to him, and we're getting to know one another, and suddenly I'm feeling the urge, you know. Oh, bathroom. Well, you know. So, hey. Hey, tell me, where's the bathroom? What? The bathroom, you know? What? The can? <laughs> Sorry? The head? <laughs> what? The John? What? The latrine? What? You know, I'm getting more and more desperate. Come on, where is it? Where is it? You know, oh. finally, of course, what is it? It's the loo. We don't know that <laughs> word, Americans. We don't have the loo, you know. So Now, you know, I teach at Hong Kong Baptist University, and it's a little different than, I'm, I am not the typical teacher there. I came there on a two-year contract 17 years ago, and what I tell people is, I don't know, I guess they keep forgetting to fire me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really have a bit so much. Uh, Jamie asked us to write down things that our friends thought were... Uh, our faults, yeah. Yes, our faults, exactly. This was really hard for me because, of course, I've been working with my therapist for about five years now <laughs> so, so that I can pretend these don't exist. Mm -hmm. But um, And then it was even harder because after the first three, I don't have any friends anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, here they are, you know. I, my first friend said I was arrogant. Bastard, what is he <laughs> Second friend said I was impatient, but I couldn't stand there and talk to him. The third one said I was opinionated. And then I had to make up the rest of them myself. You know? Okay, so I'm pedantic, I'm sarcastic, I'm lazy, I'm crude, I'm bad-tempered, I'm tardy, I'm loud, I'm a poor speller, 
not particularly good looking, <laughs> mean, <laughs> sterile. Uh, <laughs> maybe it didn't take balls to get up here. <laughs> 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 